Hey everyone, it's Brian Manning, and today I'm gonna to show you how to add a PayPal button like this to your website step by step. So we're gonna get logged in, and I'll show you how to use the button generator that PayPal gives you, and then how to install that button on your WordPress website, page, or post. So let's log in and get started. So I thought I'd do this tutorial to show the simplicity of PayPal and how easy it is to add a pay now button like this. And there's definitely more than one way to add a pay now button or a donate button to your website, specifically with PayPal, especially with all of the WordPress themes and plugins that are available out there. Developers and, and uh, website theme designers are constantly coming up with new options where you can just plug and play so it's pretty easy to do nowadays so we're gonna be really specific in this video on using WordPress and a PayPal business account and we'll go ahead and log in now if you've seen my videos before you know that I don't typically recommend PayPal as a main merchant account or payment processing solution so if you're looking for something easy and quick PayPal will do the trick this video is going to show you how if PayPal is a temporary solution for you and you'd like some other options I'll link up in the description to other options using other payment service providers other than PayPal so to create this button Let's log into PayPal. And this is the business account dashboard. So if yours looks a little different than this, you either need to upgrade to a business account or check out the other videos for how to create buttons on the personal accounts. But with if your dashboard looks like this, come up to the profile and click on it and then check the profile and settings or click on the profile and settings button then come over to my selling tools and click on it and then you're going to want the PayPal buttons option and just click update and it'll bring you to a screen that looks like this so if you once you have buttons listed they're going to show up right here and you can see the the different options that you get and right over here under the related items section you have a create new button which is what you're going to want to click on so I'll just click this hyperlink and it'll bring me to the button generator so it gives you a preview of the button that you're creating and you have the following options to go through you have a shopping cart buy now donations subscriptions automatic billing and installment plans and the most commonly used probably are the buy now or the donations but you can set up subscriptions so you can create a button and have that automatically charge somebody every single month if you would like for this video, we're going to do a simple buy now button. So I'll check that and you can see that it changes the text on that button. You can name it whatever you'd like. Okay. You can assign a price to it. So we'll just put $20. And then you have the customize button options where you can just check or uncheck. If you want to have different options, it, it gives you this drop down menu. So if you want to give someone different price options, you can do that. And, and obviously you just click right in here and change the name. If you would like, you can add a, de a description to each option and then click done. And then that description will show up. So you have a drop down option. You have a drop down menu, which is similar. And it even gives you suggestions for colors, sizes, and, and some different options there. And if you want to add any text fields, you can do that right here. If you want to customize the appearance, you can use a smaller button by just checking these and, and just play around with these a little bit. It's going to generate the code in a second that we'll put into our WordPress website. And I'll show you how to do that. You can even check a button to show the credit card logos if you would like to. And there's even an option for you to add your own URL link for your own button image if you would like. So if you want to... If you want this button to follow the form and function of your own website and you have a button image, you can place the link right there and that'll be the button that you'll use for your, your PayPal payment. I'm gonna uncheck the title and I'm gonna just leave this as a buy now, although I can change this to pay now right here. We'll just leave it at that for now. So I'll just have, I'm gonna change the name of this to my pay now button. Okay, so if I'm satisfied with the look and the dollar amount, the next thing that you need to do 
you can you can track inventory and there's some other options here again just play around with those i i don't typically i personally haven't ever tracked any inventory or or used paypal for product management or anything like that so i'd skip step two and just come down to step three you can add uh, a specific url on your website for a confirmation page a lot of times people just leave these as default and then you can just click create button and it'll bring you to this page where again you have the buyer's view and this is what's going to show up and you have two options to use this button number one is the website where you can just click and it'll highlight all of the text and you can copy this to your clipboard and then come over to wordpress or you can select the email option and it gives you this link so if you take this link and you just paste it right into the browser the payment form will come up that will be a result of of when somebody clicks on this pay now button so to install this into your wordpress website just click here and copy it to your browser and then come over to wordpress and i've already set up a page that's titled my new paypal button so i just came into wordpress dashboard clicked on all pages and add new and then i titled it appropriately you can also add this button to a post or a sidebar like a sidebar widget or a menu you can put it in the footer or if you have the ability to add text to a main menu you can do that as well but it's most commonly used in pages or on the sidebar so i'll come over into the main text editor and i'll just click on that and i already have code in here from a previous button so i'm just going to delete that out and I just paste that into the text editor. If I come back over and click visual, this is what it looks like. And you remember that we selected a pay now option. I'll come up here and click update. And once it updates or once it saves, you can click preview changes and this will change to pay now. So there's the button and it's as simple as that. Now you could add as much text and you could continue to customize this page if you would like by just uh, typing additional text here and depending on the wordpress theme that you're running you can customize this page with tables and colors and all that sort of thing so you just click update and once that saves you just again click preview changes come back over to the live page and there's your additional text right there and your button is still there so depending on how you make this look within PayPal, the words on the button, whether you want to have the Visa MasterCard and all of the uh, credit card logos here, it takes this code directly from PayPal and it just puts it on your website. So when somebody clicks this, it goes over to the Pay Now screen. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. But before we do that, I'm going to show you how to add it to the widget section on the sidebar as well. So we'll just come back in, make sure that this exact code is copied to our clipboard, and we'll come over to the appearance section and widgets. And I'll come to my main sidebar option, and I'll just put it right at the top to make things simple. And I, I'll come down and, and uh, choose this visual editor, add widget, select text, paste it in and I can just double check it by clicking on the visual editor and then if I save now that's live now I just want to make make it appear right at the top so I'll drag this up to the very top and then it's live I'll come back over to my page refresh and it should show up right here there it is okay now I do some additional styling like center the image and maybe take this dark blue bar out so it's just a paint out button but you can see that the process is as simple as copying code and pasting it into the area that you want the button to show up so back in PayPal within the dashboard you can go back to your saved buttons after you've created this one and you can see that that button is now listed right there and any additional buttons that you would create would show up right here so if I wanted to create another one for a donate option it's the same exact process I just select donate I can type the name of my organization you can customize with the PayPal button same as we just went over but you'll notice that it says donate right there I'll come down create the button copy my code come back to my page click edit and I'll come into the editor, click on the text, and I'll just put a few spaces there and paste the donate button right there. Click update. 
check it with the visual editor. Now I got a pay now option and a donate option. Preview changes once again, and there's both of my buttons. Again, you can center these, you can add text, you can add additional styling as you would see fit. So to show you what these buttons look like, I'm gonna log out of PayPal. Okay, so now I'm logged out of PayPal on this browser. I'm gonna reload the screen and click on one of these donate, I'll just click on the donate button and it redirects to the PayPal hosted donate option. You can just type a dollar amount in right here, any dollar amount and click donate with PayPal or donate with a debit or credit card. And this, uh, this image, I haven't uploaded a, an image to this, but I can customize this page for the donate option. If I wanna check the pay now option, I just click right there and it'll redirect you to the PayPal option. So pay with a debit or credit card or log in to PayPal. And if a user were to click on this to pay with a credit or a debit card, it takes them to this PayPal checkout. Again, all hosted by PayPal and that goes straight into your account. So that's the process to add a pay now or a donate button to your website with PayPal. And you can just drop the code directly into any code editor in WordPress and you'll have your pay now button live. So if you're new to my channel, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and found it helpful and share it with a friend if you'd like. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I do other tutorials and, and payment workflow videos just like this one. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those new videos when they're posted. I publish tutorial style trainings just like this and how-to videos on payment processing, merchant accounts, and other invoicing software tools, as well as payment workflows that tie all of those things together. So until next time, I'm Brian Manning and have a great day.